Power reporting to you live from Samsung's Unpacked event in Barcelona. And in front of me, we have the new Samsung Galaxy S5. Yep, doesn't look much different from here. Looks just like the S4 from last time, but turn it around and there you go. Look at that electric blue. And look a little bit closer. There's the new heart rate sensor in the Galaxy S5. But before we go any further, let's take a look at what's new on the Galaxy S5 this time. As you can see, the UI is pretty much the same, but with the addition of a magazine mode. Uh, the new UI that we've been looking at actually belongs here. Let me just have a look at the settings. So gone are the four tabs, four columns at the top, and they're now all easy mode, so to say. All little one buttons on the top. Now the new addition to the Galaxy S5, of course, is with the fingerprint sensor. Well, you can't really see it here, but if you go back to the settings, one cool thing about the fingerprint sensor here is the option to pay by PayPal with with, that's integrated into the fingerprint scanner. In any case, let's talk a little bit about the specs. So as you can see, this is running on the latest Android 4.2 KitKat. And then the, as for the display, we've got a new 5.1 inch Super AMOLED Full HD screen. Now, as you can see from the side, it's straight, it's not curved in any way. As for the processor, we've got a 2.5 gigahertz quad core, that's two gigs of RAM and storage options of up to 16 or 32 gigabytes of onboard storage with an option to expand via microSD up to another 64 gigabytes. Now, another new addition to the Galaxy S5 is actually quite something that people have been looking out for for a long time especially with Samsung devices uh, they don't really show it here but the Galaxy S5 is IP67 rated for dust and water resistance which is great compared to the fact that Sony has had this for a very long time now so it's great to have Samsung join the board unfortunately the design is still pretty much the same now in terms of battery Samsung has again bumped up the battery capacity of its flagship smartphone with a new 2,800 milliamp hour battery on the Galaxy S5. Now you may not even need it because there is a new ultra power saving mode which increases the, the standby time by up to 8 days. Let's try that out. So as you can see power saving mode turns everything to grayscale to reduce uh, contrast on the screen and let's try this out. There you go. Oh, it's taking some time. Hmm, well, by the looks of it, even activating ultra power saving mode is taking up some time. But uh, the home screen has been changed as well. So you see, as you can see, there's a limited amount of functions that you can do while on ultra power saving mode. And the home screen has been reduced to just six icons. Now let's talk a little bit about how the Samsung Galaxy S5 feels on the hand. Now as a whole, it just feels a lot like the Galaxy S4 from last year with not much, not much change in, um, in terms of dimensions. But the big difference here is with the back cover. So while the Galaxy S4 had a pretty glossy black back cover, this one has a rubbery, rubberized matte finish uh, with a perforated design that actually helps a lot in terms of your grip with one hand. Uh, in terms of uh, build quality, it feels a lot more. It feels a lot more premium than before uh, with the IP67 uh, rating. Now let's talk a little bit about the camera on the Galaxy S5. Samsung's fitted a new 16 megapixel camera sensor, and while that's not really a big deal, it's claimed that there are three really really good features on the Galaxy S5. Now let's power up the camera and one of the first things is the super fast uh, super fast autofocus which is set to focus in only 0.3 seconds. Now that's really cool. Now secondly Samsung's also introduced a new rich tone mode which is said to be a lot better than before and now also supports HDR on video recording. 
device. Now the last feature and possibly the most interesting feature of the new Galaxy S5's camera is what it calls selective focus. Now as the name implies, it adds depth to your photos by blurring out areas that are not in your subject. Let's try it out. Here. Obviously it takes some time since it wants to focus selectively and now let's see how it looks. So as you can see the focus is on the Galaxy Gear and the back is blurred out. Let me see if I can zoom in on that. Yep. Hi guys, this is Thunder E from Border Work and we're taking a look at the new Samsung Galaxy S5. This is the latest in the Galaxy S line of devices and this is sporting a 5.1 inch Super AMOLED HD display. So it's a 5 inch, 5.1 inch 1080p display, not 4K, so this doesn't have 4K. Um, you've got a front facing camera here and you've also got uh, your standard home button. But something's different with this home button, it's got of course a fingerprint scanner. So as Samsung said, you can actually swipe. Uh, and to basically bring up the fingerprint scanner even though I just kind of did that there. A couple of changes on this device. So as we move around, this is running Android 4.4.2, so the latest version of Android. You do have the magazine UI that pops up from the far left hand side, so my magazine actually shows up here on the device. Now if we pan around to the back of the device, you can see uh, we do have um, a 60 megapixel camera. This camera has a little bit a lot of features which we'll go through as we take a look at the camera. We've got uh, You've got an LED flash and you've also got a heart rate monitor at the back here that pretty much checks your heart rate. Now, it should light up and um, I probably have to activate the application, but you can actually do that off the Galaxy S4, uh, X5. Now, the S5 also packs a 2800 milliamp battery. Now, that battery basically allows you to do things like, basically, it, it, it should last for a day or more. It's got some other uh, battery features. Now, if we go into the settings here and look at some of the things that change. So, like I said, the UI hat is completely changed. You've got your your custom applications on the top. The whole UI look is completely different. You can see how everything looks. You have the S Finder here and you've got a quick connections. Now if you go into the settings and jump in, you can see how the settings layout is. You've got Wi-Fi, your download booster to actually boost your download because this actually packs an AC um, AC uh, wireless bandwidth as well as dual MIMO uh, wi um, wireless anten antennas. So you do have that. You've got a data usage here, Bluetooth display. If you actually go in there, you can see the breakdown of the display and, and what you have here. You switch back out, you have a wallpaper, lock screen, notification panel, and uh, just taking a look at some of the how the panel is. It's, it's visually different altogether for you. Now, this is the fingerprint scanner we talked about. I'm not gonna put my fingerprint on here because you know, that means I locked this device for everyone, but you can actually set up your fingerprint there. You can also use it with PayPal and verify it on Samsung account. So basically, if you're a PayPal user, you can definitely use it with just one swipe to unlock your PayPal and pay, which is pretty cool that you actually have that option here. Now, if you move down, we can see a couple of the things. If you have the ability to tether, wireless network data usage, NFC, uh, connection and sharing settings, as well as screen share. Uh, and then it's also got, let's look for the battery mode. It's got a new battery mode that has the ultra battery mode. So let's see if we can find that here on the display. You've got easy mode, fingerprint, blocking, motion, counts, systems, battery. There we go. So this basically this shows you what, what your standard battery is. You've got battery percentage. I made a mistake. Let's go to power saving mode. So this is your power saving mode, how it looks like. The ultra saving mode basically turns your screen to a low power mode. So it's black and white. So which means you can be on that low power mode for an extra 24 hours, which is pretty nice. So even if you're going out like, you know, on a road trip and your battery's dying, you can actually still have enough juice left in, in your phone to actually use it. So that's pretty cool. You can ultra power mode is actually up and that's how it looks there. So you can see that they how it turns the screen black and keeps a very simple UI look. I can actually turn it on if I want to. I hit OK and there we go. So that's the ultra power mode right there. Enabling ultra power mode. Alright, so see that's that's what it looks like. That's just how it is. Let's see if we can get out of here. It might take a minute or two to set up. All right, so that is that is the ultra power ultra power mode. They exceed ninety four percent. One point two days using the ultra power mode.
Now if we now just disable ultra power mode, let's get out of here so we can look at some of the more cool features of this device. Now it takes a minute, you can see it takes a minute or two to speed up. Now this is not finalized, but we should see some good detail on this in terms of it um, giving you just a full full use of your device altogether. But while this is while this is still setting up, um, it feels like an S4. It kind of looks like an S4. And um, actually, you know, it, I'm going to bring an S4 to actually compare with that for a second with you. So here's a here's a Galaxy S4 here, and we do have it in the case. This is given to us by Yomiana, so you can see her right there. But you can see size-wise and look, it looks similar and quite the same. Of course, some of the things in the top are a little different, but you still get the same look and feel altogether. Now, one of the other things, of course, is the camera. It's a 60 megapixel camera in here, so you've actually kept the camera button. You can see some of the camera features. We're in the camera settings here. You can see here the picture size of 60 megapixels. In video, you can actually record in UHD, so you can do a 4K video recording. So we can set that up. It's also got live HDR. It's also got a new autofocus mode that should help you take pictures faster and better. Now it's got. It doesn't have built-in OIS, so there's no there's no OIS built into this device. But Samsung does claim that this will give you back better sharper photos in low light and all in all these uh, situations. Of course, you've got the different modes you can pick from and with your photos and things like that. Now, if we switch back here again, now just looking at some of the things, we go. Let's go back into the app tray. You see how everything looks visually different. They've taken this flatter design approach and a warmer look so that you get a better feel of your device altogether. Go back into settings here and let's scroll down and let's go to about device. If you can find it, that's voice, accounts, backup. Yeah, it's a little confusing because this is my first time looking at it, but let's see if we can actually find it. Just Hmm, I had it here for a second. Notification, I must missed it somewhere. Oh, there we go, about device on the system. So you can see it's running Android 4.4.2. So you do have that there. Overall, this is a nice device. Now, it's still got a removable back cover, so you can remove that. And it's got, of course, that full uh, leather feel to it. Um, and um, it's not perforated leather. so. Feels, you know, feel it's trying to give you that expensive leather purse feel to it. Um, not really the case, but it does feel like that to a certain degree. Like the fact that you can't take out, you still can't remove the batteries, but expandable storage. No word on the processor. Samsung didn't tell us the processor is. I'm guessing it's the Snapdragon 8, uh, either the 8, 800 or the 805. Uh, it could be the new 801, but no word on the processor yet. Um, memory also should be around 2 gigabytes minimum. But since the Ga Galaxy Note uh, 3 had 3 gigabytes of RAM, I can see this probably have 3 gigs of RAM in here. So that's our hands on, on look of the Samsung Galaxy S5. If you guys have any questions or any comments, let us know. Um, otherwise, don't forget to subscribe to all our pages on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. So, border work with two O's. Thank you.